What up, everybody? Um, you know, let's have a conversation about reactions in general, because as I do more of these, I just want to make sure that I'm on the right page with you. OK, um, I don't mind doing more reactions, but it's not as easy as you think in a sense of figuring out what's best for the channel. Let me explain what I mean. So. As I have this Tochi RT channel that I've set up, and it's really sort of hip hop commentary. I've got my Where to Start uh, series. You're not the only one <laughs> who thinks so and so sucks series, and just sort of general um, commentary, right? So, and I do like that mix. And so far, when people come through, they're like, oh, like I like that there's a variety of things. And uh, obviously, they like the discussion, they love the comments, and y'all, you know, saying intelligent stuff. So, my point is, my one fear is obviously turning this into just one giant reaction channel. Uh, I do follow one or two reaction channels, but at the same time, I kind of feel like reactions, just reaction, reaction, reaction can get old. So that's number one. That's one thing that I, I do worry about. The other thing is that, truth be told, reactions, most of these reactions are getting blocked. Like, I mean, if I try to do a reaction, like, I mean, I'm getting copyright strikes so everywhere. And so to me, I'm like, well, what's the point of this? Like, I'm going to spend time doing a reaction to a song that I probably won't like. Um, unless, you I mean, if it's new, I probably won't like it. And um, I'll get the copyright strike. And so it'll be a, like a waste of my time, essentially. So then I said, okay, well, maybe I'll set up a system where those of y'all who want me to do reactions can buy me a coffee support. For example, I do have the buy me a coffee uh, at Hip Hop Tochi, where you can go and support already. And some of you have, which I really appreciate and love y'all for. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I just do like, if you send me three coffees or something, for example, then I'll do a reaction to whatever you suggest which is also fine, so that makes it somewhat worth my time and you get what you want. But the problem with that, too, is that um, I followed, I remember there was a kid, WAP, uh, he was like a young kid and he was sort of discovering, quote-unquote, I mean, he might have been capping, but he was discovering, like, older great rap and just reacting to it. And I was really into, like, his reactions. I thought his instincts were on point and uh, it was interesting to see a new face doing this stuff. But the point is... As he started reacting to the great shit and the classics and his channel started to explode, uh, for those of you who probably know who I'm talking about, um, he eventually started just taking the money, right? So people would be paying him to react to whack shit. And I just remember like sitting there going like, man, this is just reaction after reaction on absolute whack of garbage, right? Like someone who wants to see this young black kid react to some some nerd cornball song or rap record just to you know just show it and look listen if you pay for something that and that's what you know guap advertise that service so ultimately they, he has every right to do it of course like i'm not you know or he, it was not right for someone to take your money and not do what they say they're going to do with it but the point is that um i do think that it kind of killed the momentum of his channel in my honest opinion and so that's obviously the dilemma because some of you all might suggest something that I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to put that on the channel. Again, not to disrespect your taste or even like you might just be like, hey, like I'm sending you, you know, five coffees because I want you to react to something that's obviously garbage, right? <laughs> For the comedic factor. I mean, but that might be you, but do the rest of the channel want to see that? I don't know. So I do need some guidance on that. And I'm coming to you guys before I set this up. So I would love your opinion. Okay. So anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. Now, LL has this new song out called Saturday Night Special. I see that Rick Ross is in the song. So automatically, I think this is going to be a whack song. I'm sorry. Um, Rick Ross has no business in the song with LL. And it's... I don't know how to say this, but um, whenever I see Rick Ross's name, it's, it's, it's a low quality name. And with LL, because LL hasn't released in, in a while, so he wants to seem like he's sort of current, but obviously he's not going to do, like, he can't afford to get a Playboy Cardi or a Glorilla or, you know, like, the, he, like he can't afford to do that. So what he's going to do is he's going to go with um, who's current, quote unquote, 
um, who seems of the new school, but is, you know, obviously, you know, willing to get on a record with an old cat who wants the association with greatness, you know, dick rider shit. And that's Rick Ross. Rick Ross is that to the T. So I already know it's going to be fairly lazy. Fat Joe, um, I like Fat Joe here and there. Um, not somebody that I listen to. <laughs> or the prodigy <laughs> but again you know that's no real shot at fat joe but fat joe's never been a guy i've never owned a fat joe cd in my life um i do like some of his songs i love the ones with primo obviously um uh what's the one shit is real remix which is i always say is his best song and that's shit is real remix primo beat the video's dope uh, that's like my favorite fat joe record I'm Gone is also fantastic. It's pretty or pretty good, I should say. Um, so Joe has his moments, you know. Um, but he's not, again, somebody that I'm like, oh, I really want to hear Fat Joe right now, you know. Uh, just be honest. So here comes LL, and uh, it's LL hasn't released a record in a minute. Let's see if this is any good. <laughs> Trust in him, let me explain. The greedy killer, he wanna fuck hoes and get the money, but he quick to feel disrespected. One slip of the toe, wrong one. Um, I'm not crazy about this beat. You know, it's a little, it's just, it's just, again, we're talking about Q-Tip here, man. I think Tip did this beat. I don't know why, like, these older folk, when they, we know them for making these booming, spacey, beautiful beats and shit. You know what I'm saying? The tough shit. That's what we loved them for. That's why their shit still, we still remember their shit. That's why we still talk about, yo, what was it like for a tip to make a beat in 1994 or, or 1982 or whatever? That booming shit. So, like, when they make these flat beats now, it's like, why? Like, who's listening to the shit? Who gives a fuck about these records? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, again, and I'm not saying that you gotta go back and do the exact same shit you did before. But it's like, it's weird because it's a complete de you know, de evolution to me, you know, because it's like, okay, you're not doing what made you great and famous. So, but you're not evolving either. It's not like you're making like some, you know, uh, brand new kind of boom back we never heard before. It's just whack. So I don't, I don't know. I don't like this beat at all. It almost reminds me of something like, almost like, uh, gives me Griselda energy. I'm not even going to lie. A little bit, but not quite, but it's just that low energy. <laughs> School shooter shit. Were selected, bullets drilling in your melon when you least expect it. Number one priority, self preservation. That applies to majority, different situations. The dead devil type. You love to make a scene, the nigga hype. If he's the center of attention, you are right. He worried about his rep. Put dirt on his name, you getting slept. Extra sensitive, quiet is kept. So you gotta play it cool with him. What's that love talking about? <laughs> Finish jokes, don't inhale too deep when he pass you to smoke. He asking you a question, he might go for your throat. It's best to be transparent, or that's all she wrote. Always keep your word, always pay him back. Always keep your word, always pay him back. Always keep your word. Like, yo, Ella, we haven't heard from you for years, right? Is this really like this is your reintroduction back into the game? Like, you know, really? Like, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> This is what I'm like. Let me let me play this now, cause I mean I'm sorry. I already know Rick Ross and Fat Joe can be trash. I'll come back to them. But this is your motherfucking intro back, okay? I fucking love this record. I own the CD. So let me just say this because I don't want to see me. You know, so you're a hater. I loved LL growing up. I still like this shit. You know what I'm saying? LL is a fantastic rapper. Okay, one of the greats. But again, if you we haven't heard from you for a minute, you gotta come with something that makes us go, oh shit, LL's back, right? Like, when I had this on CD, and I'm listening to this shit, I was like, whoa! You know what I mean? Hey, yo, this is the infinite, intelligent, intelligent and eloquent. That shit you're talking, talking is irrelevant. irrelevant. LL, the shit you're talking, talking about is just the fucking irrelevant. That's what I'm saying about Devolving, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, the, you were smarter 30 years ago or whatever, if I do the math, let's say 20, uh, 24 years ago. That's wild. Like, how were you smarter back then? Right? Gunner to the tenement. It's LL Cool J, nigga. 
Everything I do is excellent. I got to represent Q Borrow the Thorough. You know what I mean? We get down, we get down, baby. Check this shit out right here. Oh my god, I love this fucking record. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the Saturday night special, uh, whatever. But again, you know, like you gotta state your claim. You gotta give us a reason for why you're back. <laughs> May back boredom. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I, you guys already know. I'm sorry. It's just. <laughs> Rick Ross is just there. This is my problem with Rick Ross. Vocally, he's just there. He's that nigga that's just hanging around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like when cool shit's happening and there's like a like a lame that's just there, right? And like, you know, he just wants to be in the video or picture, or whatever. Like, I'm sorry. His vocals have no energy to them. There's no weight to what he's saying. There's no weight to the way it feels. It doesn't even freaking... I don't even know if he's on beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how much... I just... I'm not a Rick Ross guy. I don't like his voice at all. It's, it's just not my thing, man. And then if I start to even think about it, it's like, I don't even want to think about the fact that his name comes from a real person, a real drug dealer, which he's not. He's a cop. <laughs> Biggest fraud in rap history. Shorty just broke a lease, ready to move me. I put it all in the book, praying that she could read. Really are you a G? Niggas just wanna see. I'm running the numbers up. I feel I'm still in the lead. Tentacles in the streets, criminals getting dreamed. The seven series new beam, but really it's not a thing. Always getting the money, still hustle the max. Always keeping it real, always getting it back. Okay. Um, I haven't commented on the video yet. Um, I'm not sure what LL's wearing with those pants. Um, but from what I understand, I mean, I think the new school, like, I mean, Drake and even Rocky, I think they were trying to, in the last year or so, trying to bring back the baggy look, sort of. Um, so maybe, again, LL's trying to show, look, I'm current. I'm current with the fashion, right? Um, this video is very boring. It really is. It's in black and white. It's like one set. Um, again, I don't want to compare this to older shit because everyone's going to like, you compare it to older shit. But it's like, again, this is the kind of stuff that's disappointing as a hip hop fan where it's like, I've seen this type of setup before and it was done way, way better. Even fucking high definition by Rick Ross, which I actually do. I think the song's decent. I mean, it's the same sort of thing. Car. I don't know if it was in black and white. I don't quite remember. But it was a little bit more dynamic even than this. This is like real low budget shit. Obviously, one of the greatest black and white videos, in my opinion, with with a set and all that in, in hip hop is "Drop It Like It's Hot." I mean, that's that's the classic to me. That's the standard that all these guys are trying to chase. Um, and that was done by Paul Hunter, I believe. Shout out to Paul Hunter. That was that was a brilliant fucking video, man. Really, really sharp and brilliant. Took the track to a whole nother level for sure, for sure. So again, it's like okay, the song isn't great. You know, the video is lackluster. Uh. Bitches come with the thrills. All I want is the cash. My niggas still on the rise. Why I'm charging the tax. Always keep your work. Always paying back. Always keep your work. Always paying back. Always keep your work. Then there's a. Let me fix my fucking sound. Out here. Boss player. He got a shrewd into the. That's fine. You know what? I didn't hear anything Rick Ross said, anyways. It's all muddy, so fuck it. Thinking big picture, he patient with disrespect. He always keep his word, but there's pressure when he collect. He keep the blicky close, he's small when he invests. Stay away from his hoes, that'll keep you out the mess. He act like you treat him cold, but that is just a test. Keep your jokes to a minimum when wife he is around. Remember, he's the man. I'm gonna be honest with you, like, typically, if I'm just consuming tracks for my own self, like, I would have heard the first five seconds of this and, like, not continued. Um, because I don't like the song. I already know, I don't like this beat. Nothing about it strikes, you know, like, even though the moment I would have heard LL rapping, you know, always oh, paying back or whatever, I would have been like, yeah, I'm done with the song. And I wouldn't have continued. But because I'm reacting to y'all, I'm listening to this whole thing. But, yeah, so this is not good. And fuck how it sounds. Give you the shirt off his back. Cross him, that's that. Yeah, always keep your word. Always. 
No, I will say this though. Um, LL, I respect LL for maintaining his shape. Um, you know, and staying in shape and all that. I, I think that's very, very. You know, LL looks healthy. I will say, um, and not even so much in a roid way. I don't think he's like roiding up or whatever. But he seems like somebody who does, who knows like his appearance is important. It's part of his image, and he's like been taking care of that this entire time. And I respect that um, because that takes like some real dedication. So, you know, it's it if you still look young right then you know hip-hop is visual so you can make young music if that makes sense um and even if you looked older to be honest with you i would still listen to rap because again rap to me is about the music and not so much the visuals but it certainly helps if you look a little younger right um too bad the song itself is you know not young in the sense of um, having that youthful like energy and spark and imagination right Always keep your word, always pay him back, always keep your word, always pay him back, always keep it real, always like cricket. Bunk kicks like a teacher, just flew a mini mission in Atlanta on some sneakers. I brought the purses to the verses, big body and shit, big boy hearses. Stained careers like windows in the churches. Brooklyn gated the trap, this Sunday service. Always held a gauge, always had the map, always move weight, always move the pack. Keep the word, always stay back, always keep it real, always like crack. Always keep your word, always pay him back, always keep your word, always pay him back. Mm. That was a bit lazy from Fat Joe. Fat Joe can do better than that. Um. Always keep your word, always pay him back, always keep your word, always pay him back. I can't say that I like that ending either. Um, personally, I would have added that, or if you were going to bring that in, um, I would have added it like throughout the track to give the track, because the beat is kind of one note to me in a sense. Um, it's interesting because it reminds me of like something uh, similar to when J. Cole was doing Grippy Down, whatever. Um, and I'd said it's Travis Scott, but really, in a way, it's some Kanye shit um, when I think about it, you know, because all these guys are kind of. Uh, you know, devolving, or to say they're cloning each other, but um, it, it, I don't remember my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, but I feel like that was kind of that era, um, and sort of like that sort of um, uh, Kanye approach. So yeah, I mean, uh, anyway, what can I say? I don't care about the song. I'll never listen to it again. Okay, but uh, I appreciate y'all rocking with me, and uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day.